All right. Hey, guys. <clears throat> hey, how's everybody doing today? So, let's go into our questions. Okay, right here. Hey, Mark. What is the most easiest or effective way to manifest and change my life? There's so many things out there to do to manifest things. All these different techniques and methods. Is there a certain mindset, a certain principle, maybe even a certain law that I'm not aware of uh, that could help me to create my life by design? Please share if you have knowledge of this. All right. Well, I do have knowledge of this. And not only is this, it's a law, and I'm going to tell you what it is. It's called the law of least effort that is the most effective and the most powerful way you're going to be you can manifest anything in your life okay the law of least effort says that when you stop trying or you stop trying to control the outcome or you're trying to figure it out or you're using your mind to try to get what you want you're going to meet more of what you don't want you're going to meet a lot of resistance see the how the universe works people and i said this is a law now how the universe works is best way I can put this to you is okay the universe does not work the way you were taught in school the way you were taught in life the way you were taught by your parents the way you were taught by your um, your authority figures the people you look up to it does not work that way your textbooks in school the way the, the organized teachings and all of that the universe does not work that way so let me show you the correct way the universe works because this is important once you learn the correct way to do something then your mind can adjust once your mind adjusts a new filter opens up and then you can get what you want so here's how the universe works the universe works the least amount of effort or action creates the most results the most effort and action creates the least results and it's a simple this reason why it works this way because in the be when the universe began or when well, the universe does have a beginning but to make sense of this for you at this point in the universe everything was already set in motion there was nothing to create there was only things to attract to vibrate on so we have the misidentification that we have to create stuff. You never create anything. There's, no, there's nothing separate. There's nothing out there. Everything is right here in this moment and time. So if everything is here in this moment and time, you don't have to push or try. All you have to do now is use your mind and your mental power. And the tools available to you are what? Your imagination your language the way your beliefs are these are the simple tools you can use and then the most powerful tool you have is called the unconscious or your subconscious mind once you can let your subconscious mind do the work for you you get the most results in your life that is the fastest way to manifest something and I'll give you the number one rule when it comes to manifesting in my life that I figured out and I learned this the hard way you no, know, when I was manifesting the lottery, I learned this the hard way because the lottery, I was very egotistical. I wanted to win. I wanted the money. I wanted to buy this car here. And it was like it was leaving me. It's like if you don't do this now, if you don't try, if you don't go out, if you don't do, 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 if you don't buy lots of tickets, you're not going to win. And that's what the mind told me. But in, and in fact, it doesn't work that way. You know I won with just two bucks right two quick picks not a whole bunch of tickets so what I discovered about this law is if I don't know what to do I'm not gonna do anything see contrary to popular belief they teach you your mind tells you if you don't know what to do you better figure out something to do that's incorrect you're going against the creative process people listen to me if you don't know what to do just don't do anything takes discipline it's it goes it goes totally against your mind your mind will say what the hell are you doing you we just can't sit here we just can't not do anything go get yourself busy no nope. you're going to miscreate so what I did was I started if I don't know what to do I just say listen I don't know what to do so I'm not going to do anything boom 
boom that's when inspiration that's when ideas that's when the universe communicated with me because I'm open now I'm not shut off I'm open because I don't know what to do so that, that, that's the most genius thing ever man if you don't know what to do don't do anything until you get an inspiration until you get inspired action until your intuition kicks in then you make the move that's the most effective that's basically the law of least effort once you apply the law of least effort your whole life becomes better you have less stress you have more productivity you have get more happiness you have more peace you have more abundance you manifest more because now you are working with the universe you're working with the creative process instead of against the process and the law of least effort will lead you to the art someone here says of detachment they go hand in hand so if you want to detach and get get, get away from like trying to figure stuff out or needing your desire let it go and don't try to push let your mind do the work for you to make this law work there's only two things you have to do people just to activate this law number one you have to decide what you want and number two you got to get clear on what you want be a little specific and once you do that then you put it out to the universe and you know you put stuff out to the universe right you put stuff out to the universe vocally by talking out loud in those question forms and what else how you put things out to the universe you put things out to the universe through your imagination through visualization right what how do you how else do you put stuff out to the universe you put stuff out to the universe by taking some sort of action to impress your subconscious mind for example if you want to own your home or business how do you put it you can surround yourself watch stuff on on the internet or anything about owning a home successful things like that you have to surround your mind with what you want and once your mind get an input or a blueprint of what you want your mind now will start to look for the avenues to bring it to you as a physical experience and this all goes back to quantum mechanics quantum mechanics is a science of least effort is nothing in quantum mechanics and basically listen all of you are quantum we we are made from quantum mechanics we are the particles that create this multiverse we live in and the laws of physics are very precise they basically show you that things come into existence like this nothing struggles to exist nothing forces to exist particles pop in and out with no effort you are a particle not only that, how about the other part now? Let me tell you why the law of least effort is so powerful. Because now we know that there is a multiverse. And in this multiverse, there exist infinite copies of you and I experiencing different things. So what you want, there's already a version out there for you to experience that. All you have to do is tap into the frequency of that. And tapping into a frequency is least effort. By the way, everything you do in your life is a frequency everything you do you vibrate and you connect to a frequency of that thing the universe is frequency it's like uh, billions of radio stations billions of whatever stations you have and each station you gotta find the right frequency to listen to the music to experience to watch the, your show you gotta be on the right channel right that's how the universe work the universe is a right channel can you recommend a good book on quantum mechanics? Yes, my book, Manifest the Lottery Using Quantum Mechanics. It shows you everything you can find on Amazon. I don't have a copy in this car. My other car, I have a copy of the book. But if you can understand that, your life becomes very easy. And when you turn on the law of least effort, you turn on your super power, which is your intuition. Your intuition comes into full gear when you turn on the law of least effort. Because now you're doing what you were supposed to do. See that? Your regular mind is supposed to interpret what you see. Your regular mind isn't supposed to figure out and try to get you and solve all these big problems, whatever you have. You can never, you will never reach your goal with your regular mind. It's literally impossible. But that's what they teach you. See what I'm showing you right now? Right? Remember what I said? I said, whatever you were taught you got to unlearn it because the universe doesn't work that way, man. If you go practice this today, spend one week doing this, and you will see amazing results in your life. You will have less stress because now you're trusting your true self. You're trusting who you are. It's not, this, is not a, this is not a physical game, people. 
it's a mental game the law of least effort is you go like this you're watching the stuff you're in the stuff you're not judging the stuff you're not trying to control the stuff what you can control you can control what you can't control you let it be that's the law of least effort whatever is going to work out for you is going to work out for you because you have a mindset of what you want you've already put out to the universe what you want there is are there are snapshots of your goals in your heart in your mind the universe has these already so whenever you're whatever's going on in your life it's a temporary thing it's a temporal dimensional shift you're moving from one dimension to the next dimension to experience you whatever you want so what I do is I sit relax and I watch the scene if it's hard if, if I'm meeting resistance I, st I stop I lay off of it if I'm not reading meeting resistance I go with it that's the law of least effort and I'll bring it back to you did you know this this is a fact I'm gonna teach you something right now did you know that everything has already happened okay your life your birth your death has already happened we're in freeze frame we're in time delay all of this is long gone already how do we know this we can know we know this for a fact let's go into quantum mechanics when quantum me when quantum me mechanics began every outcome was already determined we're just living the playback man so if you're living the playback think about if you have something in your mind that you want you already experienced it somewhere along the, the playback so it means that it's going to happen regardless as long as you keep your attention on it that's just that that's the simple thing to make the law work keep your attention on what you want take keep your attention off of what you don't want you do that you activate the law so I'm gonna tell you something I, I'm gonna share something I learned that's when I started trusting and aligning, applying this law. I, I call it the law now. I just call it the law of least effort. L O L E or whatever. It's, it's the law of least whatever, but it's the law of not pushing or trying. This is, I think, this is the one of the greatest laws that we don't talk about, or one of the greatest methods of. I think this is the ultimate method. I think this is even beyond the law of attraction, law of assumption, because this takes everything into one 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 thing. You know. Okay, let me show you something. I test this law. It was it was first it was hard because your mind isn't used to this, so you get worried and I, what I'm just gonna I'm not gonna do anything. I test the law. I say, you know what? I'm not gonna try to control or force. I'm gonna just let it ride and then put my mind on what I want and see what happens. Every time I meet an obstacle and I let it go, it works out. I knew this for a fact because every time when I used to meet an obstacle, you know what I used to do? I used to try to fix the obstacle. I used to try to figure out the obstacle. I used to get stressed about the obstacle. Now I don't do that because I understand the laws of quantum mechanics and I understand the laws of the universe. And that's very profound. That's a powerful thing I'm teaching you right now. When you get that, you get that. It's called, go. Yes, my friend here says it, uh, Dax says, go with the flow. And it's that simple word, go with the flow, is the most profound and genius flow. People don't even understand what it means. when, you, If you really understand what it means to go with the flow, you will be a master manifester and creator of your life. Go with the flow literally means go with it. Even if it looks like it ain't going to work out for you, even if it looks like it ain't your thing, still go with it. Yeah, it's easier said than done. That's why I said to you, you to make this law, you're going to have to be disciplined. Because your brain isn't used to this. Your brain is going to fight you because your brain has been con conjectured or, you know, your brain has been programmed to see things as problem solvers. That's how our brains are designed. But again, it's incorrect. But once you start this and you see some, some results in this, it gets easier for you to apply this. Yeah, and this is why you have to reprogram. This is why you, you need to use subconscious subliminals. But this is the most effective way to create your life, guys is to go with the law of least effort because inside of you there is a part that's even that you're the universe by the way yes subliminals help a lot uh, Krista you are the universe multiverse experience as consciousness this thing we call this game we call life it's a game and you already have this part of you that can get anything you want but the only way for you to open that part of you 
is to close the intellect mind. If you close off your intellect mind, you will open your creative mind. You see, we were programmed not to close off our intellect mind. As a matter of fact, we were programmed to use our intellect mind to fix our life and figure out our world. But they actually lied to you. They actually lied to you big time. And I could prove this to you because if you go to school and you're in class and everything, you are always taught to be problem solvers. The first thing they teach you is, what is five times five? Solve this problem. Solve this situation. Mary and Jane, da-da-da. Figure this out. da 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 that is problem solving mentality. It will not get you what you want. And let me prove that to you right now. Because the one thing no one talks about, no one showed you, and you're just realizing this. Did you know, this is a fact, that we only use 3% of the problem solving mind. Where's the, what's up with the other 97%? So if you're going and growing up and you're being taught to be problem solvers and they're teaching you in the world, you think like, oh, that's my whole mind. I got news for you. That is 3%, people. Okay, Mark, what's the other 97%? The subconscious. Your world and your life is generated by the creative mind, the subconscious. You don't control or run anything in your problem mind, people. That's why I said they lied to you. No, they didn't. They said, "Oh, by the way, um, go ahead and use your mind to solve." But they didn't, they didn't put the little fine prints. The little, you know, when you read the directions, they have the fine prints. By the way, uh, I'm teaching you to be problem solvers, but I'm only teaching you three percent. Actually, ninety-seven percent of your life has already been predetermined and ran by your subconscious mind. So you can go ahead and try to solve your problems. Most of the time, you're going to be a ninety percent failure rate. But still, go ahead and try because it's good for the system. It's good for us to help you, to control you, to make you work. Da 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 da. But for the lucky ones that figure this out, good luck. Do your thing. That's the fine print. No one reads that. Always got to read the fine print, man. Everything they give you, got to read the fine print. That's how it works. Least effort. Most results. Imagination, visualization, affirm affirmations, repeat, attention, focus, repeat, flow, don't control, don't push. If you don't know what to do, you do not do anything. You chill, you wait back, you'll get you'll get the nudge to do something. Most people jump ahead before they even get what to do. Yep. And then when you start to get into the law of least effort, as someone right here, they want to get into a manifest relationship, a romantic relationship, you move away from chasing now. You don't chase anything now. Guess what? The law of least effort, things start to chase you. Money chases you. Relationship changes, chases you. Things chases you. Ideas, opportunities chases you. Does anybody know why that would happen? And I give you a tip. It's the law of quantum mechanics. It's the law of polarity with particles in charge. See, all particles, they have energy. They spin. They're powered by some force. Some people call it the God particle, the, uh, the Higgs boson particle. But what program, what power is the Higgs boson? No one knows. No one will ever know. But we know it's consciousness the power. But with these particles, when they're charged, right, they either offer a negative or what we call a positive. You have an electron, which is an, uh, what, electron, right? That's the negative spin and a positron, which is a positive spin. All Everything in the universe will have a duality spin, right? You'll have the negative, the positive. So if you're in the law of least resistance, I mean the law of, you call it law of least, least resistance, law of least effort, whatever you want to call it. What happens now, when you take that down, your negative pull or your desperation pull, your want pull will decrease. Now will increase your positron pull which now will bring you the things that you want, they'll actually start to find you. They'll start running at you because you don't have that negative pull anymore. It's, it's severely diminished because you're no longer in the intellect mind. Anytime you operate in your intellect mind, you increase your negative pull. It means you're pushing away what you want. The more you stay out of the intellect mind, you turn on the positive pull. You're pulling things towards what you want. That's right. Energy is the real currency, my friend. Someone says, Marcus says it right here. So if you know these laws, people, it will literally come to you. It only takes patience. It takes discipline. And that's it.
The into how to close off the intellect mind. You can never close off the intellect mind. The intellect mind is going to be there. What you want to do is you want to be able to observe the intellect mind, but don't absorb it. It's like this noise will always be there, but your brain can learn to tune it out when you want and tune it in. So you're in, it's, to, it's just to understand that my intellect mind will always try to do it, but it doesn't mean I have to partake in it. That's how you can get your intellect mind out of it. Use your intellect mind for regular stuff. Like your intellect mind at your job or what you got to do a job. But use the intellect mind for that. Do not use your intellect mind to fix the universe, to fix your big desires, to manifest your big goals. Because your intellect mind is so limited. 3%. 3%. When you have the law of release uh, effort, you'll automatically be in the present moment. Because you'll be at peace. When you're at peace, it's the flow state. When you're at peace, you're in the present. Peace means you're not worrying about the future or the past. That's the, that's the definition of peace. Peace means all mind is chill and good. That's the definition of peace. See, peace is like, I don't have to. I don't have any problems. I'm at peace. Problems only come in the intellect mind. Problems only come in the past or the future. It's impossible to have a problem in the present moment. It's impossible. That's deep right there. Let that one sit and think about that again. I could explain to you what it is, but maybe so you'll get it. Maybe some of you won't, but you may have to watch this again. You, It's impossible to have any problems in the present moment. The reason why is because when something comes up in the present, your mind will automatically deal with it or let it go. It will work itself out. That's not a problem. Problems only arise when we're for, forecasting them, when we're looking towards them, when we're projecting them, when we're expecting them, when we know they're done. That's in the mind. It's not in the reality of the present moment. See how it works? So there you have it. The law of least effort will bring you to your goals a lot faster. All right? See you again.